Don't get a sucker no statue. Give him guts. I told you I wasn't going away. You got your shot. Now give me mine. Why don't you get the hell out of here? Cowboy, man, I ain't going nowhere. And why don't you tell all these nice folks why you've been ducking me? Politics, man. This country wants to keep me down. Give everybody a reason. They don't want a man like me to have the title. This doesn't matter. Pump it like that fool up there. You know, you've got a big mouth, you know? Why don't you come out and close it, bad boy? Come on. 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 Come I'm telling you and everybody here, I'll fight it anywhere, anytime, for nothing. What you people ain't never going to see it happen because he's going to retire. You see, he don't fight no real man. He fights himself. What? You're as disgraced as it's for. Shut up, old man. You let Chuck know where to come from. Bad boy, you found it doing real nice, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You call yourself a fighter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prove it now. Come on, give me that same chance. Give me that same chance. You call yourself a fighter? Prove it now. Give me that same chance. The way you've been ducking is a disgrace. If he ain't no coward, why don't he fight me then? I can't listen any more of this any time. I don't care what you rank. You don't get no shot, and I mean that. I'm glad you people are seeing this here. What are you doing? I want to fight this guy. Well, you got him. You'll find him without me. What are you saying? It's finished. Yes, I'm finished. I don't want no more. I don't want no more. You understand? It's all over. Hey, woman. Hey, woman. Listen here. Since your old man ain't got no heart, maybe you'd like to see a real man. I bet you stay up late every night dreaming you had a real man, don't you? I'll tell you what, bring your pretty little self over to my apartment tonight, and I'll show you a real man. You want you get out of my What's up, YouTube? Stat44 coming in with another video. Man should stand up for what he believes in. Before I get started, I want to give a shout out to all my new subscribers, all my regular subscribers, and if you're new to my channel, go ahead hit that subscription button on the corner of your screen and hit that notification bell as well, and you'll get all my videos sent straight to your phone or your device as soon as I put one up on YouTube. But let's get right into this video. Man should stand up for what he believes in. I used a 1982 movie clip of Rocky III starring Sylvester Stallone and Mr. T basically showing the scene when Sylvester Stallone as Rocky was about to retire and Mr. T, Clever Lane, walked into the press conference and just told him he was a chump and he wanted to fight him and Rocky didn't stand up for what he believed in as a man and he took the disres total disrespect of his craft and his manhood by disrespecting his wife Adrian in the movie. But the reason why I bring this up is last night I was on Grown Man's panel with a grown man, basically Coach Warren, Ice Turner, <clears throat> Ice Turner and myself, excuse me. And we basically was talking about this narrative that men are going around on these panels and talking for four and a half hours about being a victim and, you know, female nature and talking about how you need to run game on a woman to get a woman. And at the end of the day, you know, I always say it's three people in this world it's people that watch things happen, people that talk about things happening, people that make things happening. And those guys are sitting on those panels are watching things and complaining about things that's happening in this world and not making it happen. But if you guys want to see a good panel, go to Grown Man Business Channel. And we had a great panel last night about making things happen. And one thing I will say, it always starts with you versus you. You have to look yourself in the mirror and know what you need to do to change your life and at the end of the day in your back of your mind when you go to bed at night you know what you're happy with and you know what you're not happy with and when you go to bed at night you need to put your hands together and pray to the most high about how i'm going to change this and how i'm going to change my life period you have to get up every day and understand i want to be productive but the one thing you need to do when you do get up every day to understand that you're your time and your choices is the most important thing that you have in your life as a man. As, you know, as a man, when you make poor choices, 
it takes away your time. You go have a baby by a string and you go be hit up be stuck on child support, then you have to put extra money into your, or extra time into, you know, your production in life just to survive, you know, so at the end of the day, guys, what I want you guys to do is understand who you are, work on your discipline, work on your plan, your purpose, your program, and that's what it's all about, is you have to have a plan for what you want to do in life. You got to know what your purpose is. And you have to run a real program, not a shitty program when you just hope things fall out the sky. And that's what's wrong with today's society. That is a lot of delusional people because we live in a touch now society. And what I mean by touch now, you touch the phone, you touch the tablet, you touch the computer and it tells you the answer. And the red pill is not about a pill that you take and understand everything overnight. It takes work on yourself working on your mental, your physical, having discipline to understand that my discipline matches other people's discipline. That's why I get along with Coach Warren and GMB so well because we have a program and a discipline about ourselves to self-improve, to motivate, and create great, you know, great individuals with our kids and our families and do things because at the end of the day, we level up every day. I leveling up don't never stop, you know. You know, and I ain't saying every day it'd be easy when you have to work on yourself. It's going to be some days when you tell yourself, I want to get my butt back in the bed or I want to do this, I want to do that. But you have to get up and, and, and face the challenges of life. And that's why I brought that movie club because Rocky should have faced the challenges of of the of a life because as a fighter and if you know anything about boxing that is their livelihood that's their craft that's how they feed their families and you have to guys have to get out and understand that i have to challenge any challenge that come my way i have to accept it you know and just under, don't understand don't fall in the don't fall in the gutter because adversity happens you have to be strong enough to believe in yourself to stand up for what you believe in mentally physically, your spiritually, and put God first always to understand that he's the beginning and he's the end. We live our death date every year. Every year you have a birthday, you live that death date. You, you're going to die one day in this world, a day that you didn't live before, but you don't know what day it is or what year it is. So remember, take the advantage of the air you breathe. Understand that when you in the steering wheel of your, you in the front wheel of your life, you control where you go, what roads you go down, who you put in your passenger seat, who you put in the back seat. Remember, a man that don't have goals, just have, you know, just have dreams without goals is just dreaming. But remember to write down what you need to write down to make sure you complete your goals, your mission, your self discipline in life and it always starts with you picking up a piece of paper and writing down what direction I want to go. If you keep talking about where you want to go without writing it down or getting direction or checking out me, Coach Warren, uh, GMB, people like that on um, on YouTube, Black Ram 313, you, you'll be lost. You have to talk, you have to put yourself in position to understand that I can better myself. And when I better myself, I can help somebody else better themselves. And that's what it's all about. You know, listen to Ron Wills, Alan Roger Curry, people that are actually trying to tell you this game about life, not the game about getting over on nobody. Because when you get over on somebody, karma will come back and haunt you. And a lot of these guys that's on these four-hour panels their issue is they ran their game, but their game ran back on them. Because some guys are are basically, you know, one sexy woman or one feminine woman of uh, manipulation away from falling back into that that uh blue pill blue pill thinking. The only way you're gonna think red pill is always leveling up and always doing better. Cause when you know better, you do better. And at the end of the day, guys, this was basically a, a video that's to tell you guys, to motivate you guys. It's to stand up for what you believe in, 
take on all challenges that you need to take on. And I ain't saying go out there and lead a club and be walking down a dark alley and challenging and letting guys challenge you when you you think logically about your well being when you out and about. But when when you can control what you control as a man, you do what you have to do as a man by getting up and using your time wisely. You only need six hours of sleep. And that other 18 hours, what are you doing with your time? What are you doing with your purpose? And what are you doing with your program? But that's all I really want to say in this video, guys. I just want you guys to stop listening to content creators that's basically talking about female nature and game. And come over here and listen to guys like me, Stack44, Coach Warren, GMB, about, you know, basically changing your lives and understanding and having awareness of what's out here. You know, I always say you can take a knife and stab somebody with it. But at the same time, you can take that knife and do positive things with it. You are in control of that knife. What you want to do with it? You want to cut people with it? Or you want to cut, you know, cut up some food and, 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 and supply the nourishment to help people understand what, you know, what's, what's good for them and what's not good for them. But at the end of the day, guys, let's stack up our lives. Let's stack attack our lives. Let's... You know, that's when the first hour of day. And if you guys need me, my email is at the end of this video and it's at the beginning of this video and it's on all my videos. And look at all my videos as well. If you need me, email me or DM me on my Instagram and I'll holler at you guys on the next video. Peace.